the tip, which means peace in the middle of adversity. But have you ever noticed how peace can turn into F.U. that quick? People are asking for peace from the people who bring war. We are looking for solutions from the people who cause the problems in the first place and continue to cause the problems all over the world. The only solution, the simplest solution, is to return to nature. Those of you who grew up in cities and really haven't been anywhere might think that everywhere is like a city. No, there's, there's plenty, 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 plenty of land for sale. You don't have to wait for the government to give it to you or uh, none of that. You go down, you get together, and you buy it, and then you do what you do. So what's the reason for connecting with nature? What, what, how, how, you know, people talk about they connected with nature, and I'm in the vibe, but I don't see shit happening. We are all conscious, everybody conscious, but ain't shit happening. Nobody's building a brick nowhere. We don't build clothes, we don't build schools, we don't build homes, unless you're working for somebody. But anyway, I digress. You're connected with nature because you are nature. You Bible people should uh, read Psalms 82, 8 and 2 is 10, which says, Ye are God, ye are God. This Jesus guy y'all be talking about. Ye are God, and all of you are the children of the Most High, da 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 But y'all don't know this, because you're living in darkness. Because your eye that should be single is in darkness. It's closed, especially those of you who calcified pineal gland. Anyway, all you have to do is look at yourself, and then you look at what we call nature. At the highest point of our nature, outside of ourselves, is the sun. You know, you see it every day without, you know, you don't have to ask what the sun going to come. If you stop believing in your God, the sun still come. If the sun go out, all of us is dead. Period. Period. I don't care what you believe. So at the highest point is the sun, at the highest point of your body is your mind and your brain and your head. And they're talking about now that they believe that light is consciousness. Ooh, who thought of that idea? You understand? And your brain that's inside of your skull and top of your head, uh, you know, makes all these what they call synapses, electromagnetic energy, and it sends it to the rest of the body through the nervous system and through the melanin system, etc. To so you can move yourself and do things, you know, and talk and all that good stuff. So the sun starts up here at the highest point, and then in between the head and the lower body is the lung. So uh, what do we? What do the lungs do? They breathe the air. The separation between the sun, the physical sun, and the earth is all this space, all this air, and we have to breathe that stuff in. If you don't breathe, you are dead. Stop breathing. Stop breathing for a minute. A minute. One minute. If you're not a trained uh, breatharian, stop breathing right now. All right? You breath of life. That's all I have to say. But better breathing makes better life. Deeper breathing makes healthier life, etc., etc. You can go without food for days and months. You can go without water for a little while. Try going out breathing for one minute. Okay, so that's between the sun and the next level, the water. All below the rib cage, all this down here. 
All this down here is about water. That's why you have to breathe down there. When you look at a baby, they breathe into their lower abdomen. But some, for some reason, after seven years old, we start breathing in the upper chest. And down here in the water is where all the disease and the, the doo-doo and stuff is at. That's where you need to be breathing at. So if we look at the earth, what they call earth, which should rightfully be called water, because there's more water than there is earth, the same as your body, you are mostly water, duh, just like nature, just like nectar. The water rules down here. Your sexual organs, all that is included in the water, in the, in the abdomen, the, uh, the stomach and the spleen and the, and the intestines, the small intestines, the large intestines, all that, all that, all that. And then below the water, what you have, you have the earth, which splits into yin and yang, as they say in the Chinese, but is uh, really bioelectrical, is um, or bioelectric, biomagnetic. I'm, I'm, I apologize. You know, your left is your so-called negative, which should be called cathode because there's no such thing as negative. And uh, the right leg is positive, so positive sends out. Cathode just simply draws in, just like the battery in your car. One draws in, one pushes out. So this is the law of nature. You understand? At the middle of the sun is yin, but it gives out yang or yang energy. So everything is based on these simple laws of the elements. Where do all those elements come from? Fire, the sun, air, wind, um, uh, water, and, and earth. Earth is just a conglomerate, but that's another story. Um, they all come from what's called ether. And in your Bible it says the waters above changed into the waters, you know, came down and changed into the waters below. And it, and it separated the two, which you get air, da 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 so those waters, waters, when you look at water, it literally is a physical representation of ether. It's about as close as you're going to come to the substance they call ether, the, the substance that creates all the other elements 